Chapter 2 Kidnapped, Ruth Rose gasped. Everyone in the crowd began talking at once. Officer Fallon ran to talk to Eileen. Where's Winnie? they asked. I want to see Winnie. Winnie has gone away for a little while, Ruth Rose told her little brother. Where? the four-year-old insisted. Ruth Rose put her arm around Nate's shoulders. We don't know yet, she said. Officer Fallon stepped up to the microphone. Folks, you might as well go home, he said. We have every reason to believe that Winnie is safe. We'll do our best to get her back. Tom Steele, Flip Francis, and Eileen Knapper left Panda Park together. Officer Fallon and Jimmy began walking around the outside of the panda enclosure. The crowd slowly wandered away. What a lousy thing to do, Josh said, helping Nate down from the bench. What's going to happen to Winnie? Ruth Rose asked. Doesn't she need her mother to feed her? Dink glanced at the story in the panda paper. It says Winnie's almost six months old, he said. She's eating by herself now. Come on, said Ruth Rose. Let's go talk to Officer Fallon. The kids caught up with the police chief and his grandson outside the fence behind the bamboo forest. Pal flopped on his belly and stuck his nose through the fence rails. Nate sat next to him and patted the dog's head. Hey, kids, Officer Fallon said. Some situation, eh? The kidnappers want a million bucks for Winnie, Jimmy Fallon blurted out. Jimmy, his grandfather said. Is it true, Ruth Rose asked. Officer Fallon nodded. I'm afraid that's what this says, he said. Holding the note by its edges, he let the kids inspect. Josh read the note aloud. Leave one million dollars in the hollow tree on Goose Island by midnight tonight. No tricks, or you'll never see Winnie again. A million dollars? Ruth Rose cried. Where would Greenlawn get all that money? As I recall, Officer Fallon said, there's still over a million left from the money Winifred Francis left. The kidnapper must know that. Dink ex examined the note. What does the kidnapper mean by tricks? He asked. He means we shouldn't put any police officers on the island to catch him when he comes for the money. Officer Fallon said, or tamper with the bills so we can trace them. Ruth Rose studied the ransom note. These letters were cut out of a newspaper, she said. Yes, Officer Fallon said, which means we can't trace the note. Suddenly, Pal let out a whoop. He stuck a paw through the fence and began scratching. Josh bent down to see what Pal was doing. Guys, look, he said. Partly hidden among the bamboo stalks was something shiny. It's a knife, Jimmy Fallon said. Officer Fallon got down on his knees. It sure is, he said. He scratched Pal behind the ears. Good dog. Officer Fallon stuck a long arm through the fence and picked up the knife. He brought it out, being careful not to cut himself. The knife had a thin blade and a flat handle made with a cork. Looks like a fishing knife, Officer Fallon said. If the knife gets dropped in the water, the handle will float. Can I have it, Grandpa? Jimmy asked. Afraid not, Jimmy, Officer Fallon said. This is evidence. He drew a clean handkerchief from his pocket and carefully wrapped the knife. Hey, look at this, Josh said. He reached through the fence and pulled back a stalk of bamboo. The top had been sliced neatly off. There's more, Josh said, pointing through the fence. Someone cut a bunch of this stuff. Maybe the kidnapper took some bamboo to feed Winnie, Ruth Rose said. At least she won't be hungry, Josh said. That explains the knife, Officer Fallon said. With a struggling panda in his arms, the kidnapper probably never knew he dropped it. Officer Fallon reached into his pocket. He pulled out the object that had been found in Ping's cave. Know what this is, he asked. It looks like an alarm clock, Dink said. It is, Officer Fallon said. It's an alarm clock with the volume set on loud. I'm guessing the kidnapper tossed it into Ping's cave, knowing the pandas would run out when the ping went off. He probably grabbed Winnie as she came out of the cave. And if we want her back, Dink said, Green Lawn has to pay a million dollars. You're right, Officer Fallon said, unless we find the bad guy first. But we only have till midnight, Ruth Rose said. She looked at her watch. That's only 12 hours from now. 